Hello guys, what's up? It's Abs here, and um, just wanted to tell you guys I'm actually 97 Dungeoneering, almost 98, and um, basically I got the chaotic stuff. Oh, that's yeah. Did Yannel's logo change or something? I never saw that before, actually. I'm trying to find Berthop. I know it's somewhere down here. Alright, there we go. We're going to go turn in our challenges because we just done the Dungeoneering challenge. Basically just complete any floor at maximum complexity, and you know, I did that anyways. Didn't realize there was actually a daily challenge for it, so I'm just gonna go collect my free XP and then hopefully I'm gonna go try hybriding with uh, this new stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna be wearing max full items and all that, but however, I uh, definitely will be trying it maybe with some mystics because I don't really want to lose all this shit. So, yeah, let's uh, just uh, get our turn in our challenge. So, yep, let's challenge. Let's see how much XP we get 108,000 XP. That's not bad at all. Now, I'm only 1.3 mil from 99 Dungeoneering. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a party for that, but anyways, guys, only 62k to 98. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to actually go just gear up now, and I'll be back once I am geared. So I'll see you in a few moments, guys. All right, guys, so we are actually geared right now. And actually, guys, just wanted to let you know, I actually got all Chaotix now except the CLS. So... As part of this video, I'm gonna kind of be reviewing the C stuff. You know, I'll tell you what I think of it and all that. You know, I'm not gonna be using the stream. I'm gonna be using this little uh, Saradamin's Hiss because, you know, I actually bought it really cheap. I was mentioning them the other day, and actually one came through pretty cheap. Um, I believe it was like five mil. I mean, I don't know what the prices are like now. It's about two days ago, and I thought that was pretty good to be honest. So uh, let's see what I'm risking. Um, yeah, you know, risking 7.8 mil. Don't mind the Berserker ring because I PK those, and I imbue every single one I PK. So. It's not a big deal. It's mainly this hiss. Um, I mean, I'll just show you how much it costs right now. Um, hold on a second, guys. Um, make sure no one's going to attack me. All right, it's about 4.6 mil, so yeah, it's gone down a little bit, which is kind of expected because, um, you know, it's kind of new item, and new items, you know, they don't have much longevity. They go down pretty fast. As you know, like, 12 are set are worth, like, 3 bill each, I think. 3 bill, like, per piece something like that when they first came out and then bam like within like one week they were like half that and then week after that they were half that and I don't know can't remember exactly how much it was but they go down pretty fast new items so um seems like there's someone here with arims but there's nobody in mystics in my level so I don't want to make this uh, a waiting commentary where you just watch me wait for a fight so I'm actually just gonna pause a little bit maybe if we get a fight I might ask a friend for, to fight if there's no one like my level so um, just bear with me guys and also guys I'm wearing this uh, this armadillo body which I PK'd and uh, it's actually more expensive than you think it's about a mil just for like this dehyde which has the same stat bonus as a black dehyde believe it or not but it just looks beast so we're just going to use it for the hell of it fuck it you know money is money and this is a game where you know you need money to enjoy it so let's just enjoy the game god damn it alright be back with the fight guys Alright guys, so we have convinced this guy to fight us, um, you know, it didn't take much convincing, I just told him I'm, I've not bridded in a while, I'm pretty bad, which is actually true, um, I'm just checking I didn't bring any water runes, because he always do that, I bring like the Term of Frost, which I'm going to tell you guys is actually a pretty beast uh, reward from Dungeoneering, unless you get unlimited water runes, and um, you know, you can just pick it back up once you uh, die, you can just loot it back from where you were previously, and already you can see the sea stuff is actually pretty pr hitting pretty good. You know, it's actually that new amulet is actually not too bad either, and I believe we are uh, on froze. Oh, that was a bit of a fail switch. And somebody ran through my fight just as I was clicking there to barrage him, which is very unfortunate, and sadly. Only thing I don't like about this stuff is the fact it doesn't have a special bar, which kind of makes it annoying if you want to stack, but it's still possible, and I'll show you guys how I would do it. I would just uh, switch to the whip before I actually go to the... Holy shit, that must have been a big barrage. Holy shit. Yeah, anyways, guys, I would go to the whip before I actually go to the spec bar. Uh, I mean, put on my spec whip. I'll put on the whip first so the spec bar is actually already there. And then I would go ahead and pull out the spec whip. I'll show you in a second if I get a chance to do it. All right, hopefully we can get a big barrage here. Um, not the best of barrages, but, you know, it'll do the job. Holy shit, that was a big right mess up with right-clicking because there was <laughs> Spirit Terror Bird on top. I mean, who prints with the Spirit Terror Bird nowadays? But apparently this guy does. Apparently, Saya the J or whatever the fuck his name is, I forgot now. Uh, no disrespect, I just <laughs> can't pronounce the name. Holy shit, that was actually a little bit risky there. I hope I am potted. 
Yep, I am, but let's just use the warp. I just... Holy shit. <laughs> I saw my left flash right before my eyes. And, yeah. Watch out for my HP next time. Oh, we're actually not doing too bad right now. Oh, I missed an amulet. Oh my god, I can't believe I put the amulet on. I'm such an idiot. No, it's such a bad XP drop. I'm not used to this amulet. It's my first time actually using it in Wilderness. So yeah, <laughs> kind of miss it a few times. This guy's like, yo, abs. And he's going to try his luck with the DDS again. But these barrages, you know, they're lethal. On hides as well. Royal's actually got beast magic defense. You know, it's better than any other any other hide. And wow, this guy's actually hitting pretty good on my fucking tank, which is a little bit bullshit. If you ask me, it's very bullshit. But yeah, you know. It's the DDS. It's pretty strong weapon, you know. I can't believe I keep misclicking this thing. Oh, come on. Got the wrong amulet on, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on, get a freeze. Nope, can't catch a fucking freeze. I'm not going to risk it there. Oh, good job he maged me, because mage hits very bad. I mean, it can't really KO someone unless they're like, I don't know, like very low defense. Alright, come on, we've not got much supplies left. I told him I'd be pretty bad because I haven't ridden in a while. And it's first time using this necklace, which I haven't even got on. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, my switches have failed a little bit. He's like, no tank armor spec him. What the fuck? Oh, finally, we're actually getting big barrages. Let's turn Tom on. Let's actually get a barrage here, please. Alright, let's try and stack him out. Holy shit, that was close. Die, please. Oh, he tabbed. He tabbed as soon as he got red bar. That's kind of sad, you know. He's like, luck. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty much my bad luck. His good luck, you know. A uh, little bit of a red bar there, and he tabbed, so. Um, you know, I'd add more fights, but it's actually taken so long to find fights that I can't be uh, bothered, really. As you can see, guys, you know, this staff is actually pretty beast. You know, it, I got a few 220 XP barrages using this the necklace. This pretty much, this gear is only like plus 98. And, but look at that, plus 32% ma plus 32 magic damage because of this Ceridimin's Hiss and the staff. So, yeah, that's pretty beast. And I'd rather risk this than a stream. You know, a stream takes forever to leech with this thing. It actually doesn't take that long to leech. And hello, Danny, how are you doing? You're in my vid. See you later, mate. And I hope you enjoy the video, guys. And just for my review for all Chaotix, to be honest, what I think is best, uh, without a lie, honestly, I would definitely... Out of the ones I have so far, put Rapier at the top is just so good. Even though I don't really use it for um, for PKing, because it's kind of OP, that's how good it is. I mean, Rapier just hits, like, constantly. After that, I'll definitely say the Crossbow. Now, I don't know if people would disagree with me, probably, but I just think the Crossbow is most useful for PKing. It actually can hit pretty damn high, especially if you got these gloves over here. These Swift gloves are pretty beast. And those Dragon Bolts. Actually, guys, look at this. I've got... 35 corrupt Morrigan's javelins. These actually got a funny story to tell you about these. Um, I actually just went into the Rev Caves solo by myself. I was just going to uh, see if there was any noobs there. And then I saw this uh, one item BGS bot, you know, those Revenant killers. And I attacked him with like my f fucking like one item Goliath gloves. And guess what? He dropped 35 Morrigan's javelins. He wasn't even sculled. But, you know, next time you see a Revenant killer bot with just one item BGS, kill him, because you never know when they might have something stackable like that, and you can just get some free loot. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the videos. Abs here, and um, please subscribe if you enjoyed. So, yeah, see you later, guys. Peace.